Hi, it's Bobby, the bilingual Spanish youth librarian from the Kenton Library of the Multnomah County Library System. And today I'm going to read to you a book called Federico and the Wolf. It's by Rebecca J. Gomez and illustrated by Elisa Chavari. This is a retelling of Little Red Riding Hood. If you've heard that story, you might know what's happening. Once upon a modern time, a boy named Federico left to buy ingredients to make the perfect pico. Cuidado, called his mama as he pedaled toward the shops. Mind Abuelo's grocery list and don't make other stops. Past the buildings, cars and cabs, young Federico scurried until he reached the marketplace where people browsed, unhurried. He filled the basket on his bike with Roma's herbs and limes, jalapeños, onions, and a peck of anaheims. He added garlic, pickles, bread, and other market goods, then pedaled through the city park and deep into the woods. That is deep in the woods. A fallen branch had blocked the path, so Rico stopped his ride. With steady force, he pushed and budged the barrier aside. Hola, called un lobo, catching Rico unaware. I see you've packed a hefty lunch. You got some grub to spare? Sorry, lobo. I must be on my way. I have to be at Grandpa's shop by 12 o'clock today. Federico grabbed his bike and left the wolf behind. Little did he know, the wolf had other plans in mind. Look at that wolf. His face says he's got other plans for sure. La tienda was deserted. Rico listened. Not a sound. The signs had closed. And what were those? Some paw prints on the ground? Sure enough, there they are. Paw prints leading inside. Federico peeked inside. Alarmed by what he saw, a figure waved him over with a large and furry paw. Who's in the store, do you think? Abuelo, whispered Federico, pulling off his hood. Yes, it's me but I can't see. Come closer, if you would. I, I think you need a shave. Your beard has grown so thick. You think so, said Ed Lovell. Steady grooming does the trick. Your arms have gotten grande. My new workouts made me strong. New dentures too? They help me too, because they're sharp and long. By now, the wolf was drooling. All this chatter is getting old. I'm hungry, bub. I need some grub before I pass out cold. Okay, said Rico. Let me see. I have brought your favorite treats. Whole grain bread, a cabbage head. A jar of pickled beets, and Lobo's nose began to twitch. Mi niño, here's the deal. Set those yucky things aside, and I'll make you my meal. I think that Lobo means business. He bounded from La Silla with a grunting, growling shout. But Rico tossed some chili powder straight into his snout. The wolf inhaled. He sniffed. He snuffed. He itched and twitched and wheezed. He tried to wipe his droopy nose, but ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, sneezed. Federico ducked and dashed, then rummaged through his sack. 
Not so fast, you tasty tyke. I haven't had my snack. But Rico quickly plotted. When the wolf's mouth opened wide, he grabbed un habanero and he jammed it deep inside. All the way in there. And Lobo gulped. <clears throat> he gagged <coughs> and coughed. <coughs> his ojos blazed bright red. Steam was puffing out his ears. I need to dunk my head. He hurtled through La Puerta with a shrieking, gasping scream and dashed as fast as he could go toward the distant stream. Ayuda, cried Abuelo from inside a bolted box. Rico found him safe and snug in just his shorts and socks. Gracias, he scrambled out with shouts of pride and joy. I thought that wolf would do us in, but you prevailed, my boy. Look at them hugging. They're so happy now. They cleaned the mess and Gramps got dressed, then shared a bit of lunch. How about we make a sauce? that packs a special punch. They chopped and diced, used lots of spice, and simmered sauce all night, then bottled their concoction, wolf's bane salsa, extra bite. And there, it's the end. And here we have, on one page, we have the recipe for a perfect pico, and on the other, we have some words in Spanish that you can see or read throughout the book. And that is the end. We end again on these beautiful pictures. All right, thank you so much for listening to my story. Um, I hope to see you again soon. Bye.